Hi everyone, it's me, Ms. Branch, the art teacher. And I am here with part two of lesson eight, a cool color and warm color landscape. So right now in part one, we painted the cool colors. The cool colors was the purple sky, purple and blue sky and the green grass. We also painted the background. We talked about the stuff that is behind me. That is the stuff in the background. So this stuff is going going to be in the background. Today, we're going to do the warm colors. So we're going to paint the tree and the yellow, red, and orange leaves. That is going to be part two. Then we have to let it dry for part three, where we add some details with our crayons to draw more implied texture. Now, implied texture is the texture you can see, but you can't touch that we learned in the other videos a couple of lessons ago. All right, so everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and change my camera so that we can paint the tree and the leaves, we got leaves floating in the air and leaves on the ground and leaves attached to the trees. So let me go ahead and do that part now. All right, oh, I have that picture upside down. All right, so now we have our watercolors. We have our water basin and our paintbrush. And we have, oops, that's my other one. We have our cleaning cloth, very, very important, especially when we're mixing colors. So now let me put this off to the side and I'll put this over here so I can have everything in the screen for now. All right, I'll put that there. I don't want a wet rag on my computer. It's not wet yet, but it's going to get wet. All right, so first things first, let's paint the tree and we need brown. And right now we have the primary colors and we learned in lesson one that if you mix red, yellow and blue together, you get brown. So now let's go ahead and make brown again. I think we used brown in another lesson that we were painting. I have to remember which one it was. So I'm gonna get a little bit of red. I'm gonna mix it with this yellow on the yellow till it turns orange. Now I have orange. I'm gonna rinse out my bristles before I touch the blue. So I definitely don't wanna get orange and then I have to clean two um, palette, um, tempera cakes. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna mix that with that red. Uh-oh, I got too much blue. So now I have green. If that happens, that means I need to get some more what? Red. So now that I have green, I have to rinse out my bristles and get a little bit more red. Ah, now we're getting our brown. I probably should have got a little bit more brown, um, a little bit more red, because now it's turning into a light brown or kind of a greenish brown. Sometimes it takes a while. It looks brown on the screen, but maybe I can go ahead and use that. Let me go ahead, let's see. Now, we don't want the tree at the top of the grass, because then it'll kind of look like it's still floating in the air. We want it to look like it's um, in the middle of the field. So I'm gonna start in the middle of the grass and just paint a vertical line up to my paper. Yeah, that is brown. It looks kind of yellowish to me at first. So now I have my tree trunk. Now I'm gonna add some branches. And yes, my name is Branch. <laughs> I think that's fun when I get to do lots of trees and say my name. So I'm going to do some diagonal lines for my branches. And branches kind of get sometimes smaller, closer to the top. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to pick up a little bit more and I'm going to make some more smaller diagonals on each of these diagonals. And I can put some diagonals on those diagonals. All right, I think my tree is cool. I'll do one more, one more diagonal. There we go. So now my tree is done and I'm gonna let that dry for just a moment. And I'm going to rinse off my bristles. And then I'm also going to clean my yellow while I'm at it. So I'm gonna get my um, wet a corner, squeeze out the extra and wipe it down. Mm. 
And so now I say I can rinse that out a little bit too. And squeeze that out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And it's okay if your hands get messy because you're painting and you can always wash them later. So now I'm just going to kind of stick it on this side of my basin so that I, um, I don't have to get water anywhere else. So now my next step is to paint the warm colors. Now, two of the warm colors you don't have to mix. You don't have to mix red and you don't have to mix yellow. But I'm going to make sure my bristles are clean. And I'm going to get some yellow, red. Uh, and I'm just going to put a couple of little dots of paint, let it touch my tree in some spots. And I'm gonna put some on the ground, just some little, just touching the paper. And I'll put some blowing in the wind because leaves do blow in the wind. So now that I've dealt with my red, I'm gonna rinse my bristles. And you're free to put more leaves on your tree if you want to, and more on the ground. But because I'm gonna add, put some yellow leaves and some orange leaves, I just gonna put a few reds. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my yellow paint. And now I'll put some yellow ones on the ground. I'm gonna put some yellow ones on the trees. And I'll put some yellow ones floating in the air. Just some little dots. So now I need to add my last warm color, which is orange. So I got to get the red paint and bring it back to the yellow. Or I, So I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my bristles and get some water. Pick up some red paint and mix it on my orange, I mean my yellow to turn it to orange. And now I can paint some orange leaves. And I can put some floating in the air, some more on the ground, some on the branches. And there we have part two done. So now we have, we have to wet, wait, wait for this to dry before we can do part three. And part three is going to be adding details with our crayons. So I will see you guys in part three of this lesson. So let me go ahead and switch my cameras. Oops, and before I switch my cameras, I almost forgot to clean my yellow. There we go. Before I do anything else, I must clean my yellow. All right, so, I'm gonna, so let me switch my cameras now. So everyone, I will see you in part three of our cool colored sky and our warm colored leaves. And we just did the foreground and the foreground is the stuff in the front. Like right now, Miss Branch is what you're focusing on. So I'm in the foreground and all the art supplies behind me are in the background. So in our picture, the sky and the grass are part of the background. So foreground, stuff in front, background, stuff in back. Easy to remember. All right. So next time we're going to draw we're going to add some texture and then it becomes a mixed media because we're going to we use paint and we're going to use crayon media in art means what did you use to add the color all right everyone so we will see you in the next video bye